بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد الفاتح لما بق والخاتم لما سبق ناصر الحق بالحق والهادي إلى صراطك المستقيم وعلى آله حق قدره والمقدار العظيم ورضي الله تبارك وتعالى عن صحابة رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم Last Ramadan we started a book of fiqh Mukhtasar al Akhbari, Sheikh Abdul Rahman al Akhbari, Rahmatullah Ali, in which he summarizes the Ahkam of Tahara and Ahkam of Salah. He starts the book with the first thing a mukallaf, an adult, the responsible. <coughs> must know and must do. He taught us about the ahkam of the qalb, the heart, before the ahkam of the body. The book is a book of fiqh, but the author talks about the disease of the heart a believer must avoid. Then he started talking about the ahkam of tahar, the type of water can one use to make wudu, ahkam al tayammu, ahkam al hayq, ahkam al nifas. Inshallah, this year he's going to start with us with ahkam al salah, the rulings. Salah. We'll be starting with an awqat. Salah, which is the most important pillar after the pillar of Shahada. Sayyidina Rasulullah said in a hadith that Islam. Is built upon five pillars. When you Islam, Ala Khams. Shahada Tala Ilaha Illallah, Wa Anna Muhammad Rasulullah, Wa Yaqam is Sadati, Wa Eta is Zakati, or Sawi Ramadan, or Hajjid Bid, the Minister Ta'ali de Hisabina. These five pillars are Shahada. Then right after comes establishment of prayer. <coughs> prayer is the most important pillar after the pillar of shahada. If our prayer is good, everything else will, go, will be good. If the prayer is not good, nothing will be looked at. The day of judgment. <laughs> And prayer needs not to be done, but it needs to be established. Allah in the Quran, He never says, perform prayer or pray. You will never see in the Quran, Sallu. You will see only, Aqimu Salah. Establish prayer. الَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْغَيْبِ وَيُقِيمُونَ الصَّلَةِ Those who establish prayer. Those who only pray, Allah curses them. فَوَيْلُونَ لِلْمُصَلِّينَ Because they only pray. They do not establish prayer. Part of establishing prayer is to pray on time. That's why He curses those who wait until the time passes, then pray. الَّذِينَ هُمْ عَنُ الصَّلَاتِهِمْ سَاهُمْ And he says, when he says to establish prayer, he said, إِنَّ الصَّلَاةَ كَانَتْ عَلَى الْمُؤْمِنِينَ 
the diver will go down. So that has an appointed time to be performed. وأقم الصلاة طرفي النهار وزلفا من الليل إن الحسنات يذهبن السيئات ذلك ذكرى للذكرين. So in this ayah Allah is showing us the different timings or the different times of salah. طرفي النهار وزلفا من الليل. But when it comes to the times of Salah, the scholar says, Al Waktu, Imma Waktu Adain, Al Waktu Qawain, Wa Waktu Al Adai, Imma Khtiya, Waktu Al Adai, Imma Khtiyariyun, Al Dalui. The prayer time is either a time when one offers the prayer. Or the time of making up. And the time of offering the prayer is either ikhtiyari or daruri. Ikhtiyari or or daruri. The preferred time or the or a necessary time. There is a time that is preferred for salah to be performed. There is a time that is a daruri time. They call it a daruri because if you have no excuse, it can lead to a sinning, or you have to perform it before it passes. That's why it's a daruri. It's necessary. The author starts with. He says, "Fasulul bil alqar," section on the prior times. And he says, "Al Muqtar li Zuhri min Zawal al Shamsi ila Akhir al Qamati, wa Al Muqtar li Al Asri min Al Qamati al Ula ila Al Isfirari, wa Daruri yuma ila Al Ghurub." The prophet time for Zuhur begins from the past zenith. He is Zawal. The past zenith of the sun. That is when the time of Zohar begins. Before scholars used to have a stick in the masjid, and they would say, when the shape of the stick goes this, they know now it's time for Zohar. That is called the Zawah. Now, Alhamdulillah. With the advancement of times, Allah Tabaraka wa Taala made it easy for us. But that very time you see on your app is not the time; is not the sign of the prayer time. But the sign has to be zawal. Even though we use new technology, we need to know this: what if internet collapses and things go back to? Normal, because we think this is normal. This is not normal. Maybe those who built the pyramids, maybe they were more advanced in technology than we are now. Who knows? And never knows. So we need to know these things taught to us by Rasulullah. So Allah Ali wa Sallam. He said, "Al waqt al muqtar li al ghuri min zawal al shams." Ila akhir al qamati. It continues until the length of the shadow equals the post zenith zenith zawal shadow plus the length of the object. The object measure. Meaning, when you see your shadow equal to yourself, after the shadow you had when zawal arrives. That indicates the time, the preferred time of Zohr. That the preferred time of Zohr ends, and when the preferred time of Zohr ends, now comes or enters the preferred time of of Asr. Wal Muqtar, Wal Muqtar lil Asr, Wal Muqtar lil Asr, min al Qamati ila al Isfirar. And the Muqtar of Asr 
is from the end of Ghuhr until the yellowing period. When you see the uh, sun becoming yellow, that yellowness indicates the end of, of, of the perfect time of, of Asr. He's not saying this because he is from one madhab, but there are a hadith that prove what he's saying. Hadith Jabir ibn Abdullah, Abdullah ibn Umar, Hadith Abdullah ibn Umar, in which he reported that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam waqqata al-dhuhra idha zalat al-shabs wa kana ghillu al-rajuli ka tuli qamatihi ma'alam ma'alam yahbur al-asr wa waqtu al-asri ma'alam tasfarra al-shabs ma'alam tasfarra al-shabs So, and then he said wa daruri yuhuma ila al-ghulub the necessary of both prayers is until sunset. Meaning it is necessary for one to offer ruhr or asr before sunset for this prayer to be called ada. For after sunset it is now called qaba. Some people when time of asr comes and they haven't prayed ruhr, they say, oh, let me make up my ruhr then pray asr. You're not making up. Because that is part of the waqtul ada. But it is a waqt that one commits the sins if one offers prayer that at that time, if one didn't have any excuse. If you didn't have any excuse, and you wait until I ask to pray over, you're sinning for delaying. But you're not making up yet because Zuhr's time, the necessary time for Zuhr will not end until sun sets. That's why he says, وَضَرُورِيُّهُمَا إِلَىٰ غُرُوبِ الشَّمْسِ They have ضَرُورِي until the sun sets. This is why we call them الْوَقْتَانِ الْمُشَرِكَةِ شَرَكَةَ بِالْوَقْتِ Because that this um, uh, common time they have, you, when you have to travel, and you travel, you can now combine Ghuhr with Asr at the time of Ghuhr or combine Ghuhr with Asr at the time of, of Asr because they have common time, they enter, um, they have these common Daruri together. They have the Daruri up to the end of the day, up to sun said. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, من أدرك من العصر ركعة قبل أن تغرب الشمس فقد أدرك العصر. Whoever prays one rak'ah before the sun sets, one rak'ah from asr, he has prayed asr. And it's a sunset time. Meaning that cannot be called making up. If you have one rak'ah before sun sets in in your asr, you prayed asr as ada. You didn't pray as qada. That's very um, interesting, for, uh, important for all of us to know. Because al amal bin niyad you cannot pray on time having intention that you are making up. Or making up having intention that you are offering the salah on time. That's why knowing the time of salah and the ahkam that have to do with time of salah is of extreme importance. Then he said that the necessary والمختار للمغرب والمختار للمغرب قدر ما تصلي فيه بعد شروطها The Mukhtar of Maghrib is from sunset and continues for the time it would take to perform the prayer after fulfilling its conditions. He is saying that when the sun sets the necessary things it takes you to get ready, he says that's the perfect time for Maghrib. He's saying that when it is time for Maghrib, there's nothing but to get ready and pray at that time. <coughs> Actually, this is an opinion in the Madhab of Imam Mahdi. There's another opinion that says that the preferred time goes up to Isha. 
Because the Prophet وسلم said, وَوَقْتُ صَلَاةِ الْمَغْرِبِ إِذَا غَابَتِ الشَّمْسُ مَا لَمْ يَسْقُتِ الشَّرَّقُ A hadith is Muslim. مَا لَمْ يَسْقُتِ الشَّرَّقُ The shabak is, you see, when the sun sets, you see there are some um, wrecked things around the sun. Those wrecked things are called the shabak. So as long as those wrecked things are on the sky, it is still time for Maghrib. But what he says here is that the preferred time is that you pray Maghrib at the very, uh, right after sunset. And the Baruni will continue, but the preferred time is that. And others say the preferred time is between sunset until it is time for, for Isha. Then she the muhtar of Isha is from the setting of the redness in the sky, that redness in the sky, until the first third of the night. Until the first third of the night. The Prophet وسلم, said in a hadith, reported by Sayyidina Aisha in Nasa'i, Salluha vima bayna an yagheeb al-sharraqu Bila dhul vili Offer Isha Between the redness set, uh, set Until the one third of the night So he's saying that the preferred time to pray Isha is between Shabba To the first third of the night. And then he said, Wa daruri yuhuma ila tulu'i al-fajr. The daruri of both prayers, meaning Maghrib and Isha, the daruri, they are essential. The necessary time is until the first light of dawn. It is tulu'i al-fajr. <laughs> Some scholars said otherwise, but this is the opinion of a sudden Malikia, that the Daruri goes up to Tulu and Fajr. Until Fajr arrives, when one prays Aisha, he prayed on time. When one prayed Maghrib, he prayed on time, but he has missed the essential time. He has missed the preferred time. So he will be sinning for that delay, but it's not considered as Qaba, it is considered as Adha. Until Fajr arrives. Then we'll finish with the ahkam of al-Fajr or waqt al-Subh. He said, "Well, muhtar al-Subh min al-Fajr in al-Isfar al-A'la, the muhtar, which is the preferred time of the morning prayer, Subh, is from the first light of dawn, Tulu al-Fajr, until Isfar, which is clear light. Isfar is different from sunrise. It is when it is clear. That's Isfar." Sunrise is to do shams. So he says the perfect time for Fajr is from to do Fajr to Isfar until clear, clear light. And then he said, Wa daruri yuhu ila to Fajr. It's the daruri is until the rising of the sun. So until the rising of the sun, from Isfar to the right, rising of the sun, that's the daruri of of Fajr, the Daruri of Fajr, which is the necessary time that you cannot pass without praying Fajr if you want to offer it as an Ada. Yet delaying it to that time is a sin. But it is not a makeup. It's not going to be called the makeup unless sun rise arrives or until sun rises. The the lead for what he just said about Fajr is the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam And the hadith of Sayyidina Abu Huraira from Sayyidina Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam وَوَقْتُ الصُّبْحِ مِنْ طُلُوعِ الْهُجْرِ مَا لَمْ تَطُلُوعِ الشَّمْسِ In the hadith of Abdullah ibn Am, that the Prophet ﷺ said, 
that the waqt of subh is from tulu'ul fajr up to the sun rise until sun rises then he say wal qada'u fi jam fi jami'i ma wara adhalik prayers are considered make up after all of those aforementioned aforementioned times meaning that if one offers prayer after the daruri of dhuhr and asr which is sunset then one is making up if one offers prayers of maghrib and isha after their daruri which is tulu' al-fajr that means they are making up if one prays subh or fajr or morning prayer you call it after sunset then one is making up and this making up of a prayer without an excuse is a grand and a great sin that's what he's going to teach us in our upcoming lesson bi idhni Allah tabarak wa ta'ala that our sallallahu alayhi wa sallam muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam allahumma inna nas'aluka bika khatimin biyaika wa khatimin awliyaika an tu'ayyidna bi adai huquq shaykh ramadan اللهم لنا به الرشد في سائر أحكامه ووفقنا لسنة نبيك وارزقنا به تعظيم ما عظمت وعصمنا فيه مع كل غائل من دسائس النفس ورعوناتها حتى لا يصدر منا إلا ما فيه رضاك واقتعنا عن كل ما سواك واملأ قلوبنا من حبك ومعرفتك وخوفك والتشوق إليك وطهرنا بتقوى يا رحم الرحيم صلى الله على سيدنا محمد وآله وصحبه وسلم